Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back, channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News. Well, the last week of June is upon us. This month has actually really, really passed us by. But this month, we have a lot of good news that happened and some really good mod releases, just like today. And the news don't stop. Today in news, we got an update on the progress for Alma, Missouri, and some news on Cord Farms. Plus, Hispano Modding has some news on his Load King Container Super B. And testing list is here, and there's 27 mods on that list. Remember, before we get to that news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll that intro. Let's see some news. Make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. We're taking our shot, what you got. We're going all the way to the top. Welcome back. Okay, so that first piece of news we're going over today is from 4D Modding. This is about a new project he's working on. This is the Triaxle Aluminum Trailer Update. The model is now fully complete. Texture is about 80% complete, and he's already started to get it in game. Lots of parts will be optional in the shop, approximately 24 ton capacity. Remember, there is no release date for this, but the plan is to have this on all platforms. Next, we got some news from 82 Studio. Actually, there's about to be a TLX Phoenix hotfix that will be coming out very soon. This changelog will be the version 1.2.1.0. Fixed on it, adjusted the volumes on the engine brakes, adjusted the horns, fixed wheel selection in the service frames, fixed the missing sound in the cat variation, Fix the activate deactivate on the engine brakes, fix the homer auger discharge, and fix the invisible drive shafts. It says anything else you guys find, well, anything else you guys find that is an issue, not a change, nothing new, issues please, please leave in his comment section on his Facebook page, which I have the link of that in the description. Again, after that one, we have some news from our good friend Oxygen David. Cord Farms for PC has finally been sent off to Giants, a map that I cannot wait for. Later on, it will be coming out to consoles. They're just trying to get the PC version out first. He said he will keep everybody updated with its progress. He just wants to say a big thank you to the community for their patience and feedback waiting for this map. I cannot wait for this. And plus, tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll actually have a video that will come out. We'll actually show you a first look map tour of that map. And then later on this week, I will actually be doing live streams on this map. And then speaking of some good maps, we have some news from Chobalki, actually like two or three pieces of news. Uh, he's been busy this weekend on Alma, Missouri. It says all the farms are placed, fields are ready, roads are done, currently working on the residential houses. We are getting closer and closer every day for the release of this one. And then last night he was working on it a little bit more and he actually got some office buildings done. As you see from these pictures right here, it says office buildings go much faster than the residential buildings, but it's looking really good. Okay, to that one, we have some news from Hispano Modding. This is about actually something new he's bringing out, which I actually showcased in my new mods and maps coming soon video. If you're not taking a look at that, make sure you guys do. But anyways, in this little bit of video he posted out earlier, he actually put the new mod. This is the Load King Container Super B and what it's going to be looking like. There are two sizes left to do on that, the 40 foot and the 45 foot. This is supposed to be coming out to all platforms. If you guys would like to see the full video on this, Make sure you guys head on over to Spano Modding's Facebook page, and he has the whole video there, which is about five, five and a half minutes. Definitely take a look at that video. Next, we have some exciting news from Sid Modding and JHHG Modding. They have just now completed their third and final modification for the Mega brand in Farming Simulator. Introducing the Mega Timber, a forestry trailer, which is a model of his own creation. It has been an incredibly inspiring project, and the collaboration with JHHG Modding, who did an amazing job with the programming and giving him actually some modifications, some unique features. Uh, they are extremely proud of this three part collaboration on the Mega series for Farming Simulator. First came the Mega Light, followed by the Mega Mario, and now with great enthusiasm, they have finished their work on the Mega Timber. So if you're into Timber, guys, this is going to be your trailer right here. And this is supposed to be coming out to all platforms. And then another mod that's supposed to be coming out to all platforms is from Sloosh Modding. This is the John Deere 330 lawnmower and is now finally in the game. Uh, so this looks really good right here. This is supposed to be coming out to all platforms, like I said. But remember, there is never a release date for that. Okay, now with all the regular news out of the way, what's left to get to? That is the testing list, and there's 27 mods on this testing list. This might actually be one of the smallest testing lists I've seen, 
but I think it's also because they have FarmCon coming up this weekend, which of course I will be streaming that. Anyways, like I said, 27 mods are on that list. Remember, if they say PC, guys, does not mean that they're PC only, just means they're in the first stage of testing. First stage is always PC, second console, third release. So let's go over some notable ones we have on here. Let's see, on the PC side, we have the Steyr Multi-Series, we have the Novacat X8ED, Bird Feeder, Monet Workshops, and the three small farms. Now on consoles, we have the Case IH Concord Air Drill System and the Case IH Axle Float 250 Series. We have John Deere HD 50F Articulated, uh, Wood Storage USA White Farm Building Pack, and the Small Modular Bunker Silo Pack. The mods we're going to be testing is 157. Bridge wait time is eight working days. Well, right there was all the news and testing list for today. Not too bad for a Monday. Remember, tonight, no live streams. The next live stream will actually be on Wednesday. But today, I will have a map tour on the Texas map that just released, plus a first look tour tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Court Farms. So make sure to check out those videos. Also, remember, all the links to the news and test list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have a release date unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator and make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss any of the videos here on the channel. Well, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth